In this video, we'll look at the metronome settings and how to adjust them. So the first thing you'll notice at the bottom of your screen is you have these metronome settings here next to the tempo and the key. So the metronome can be turned on and off by clicking this button. And if you click on the gear, you can see the rest of the settings. So on the top here, you can choose which kind of sound you want as a metronome. So the click sounds like this. The tick sounds like this. And the hi-hat sounds like this. My favorite is actually the clave, which sounds like this. And then below that, you have the volume control. Now, this is just the volume of the metronome, not the master, not a certain track, just the volume of the metronome itself. Then below that, you have the count in here. So you can either have the count in off, where as soon as you hit the record button, you're recording. Or you might turn a one bar count in on, and that way you'll get a one bar count in and hear the metronome before it actually starts recording. So you can check it out here. So that's a one bar count in, or I could change it to two bars, and then I'd get two bars count in. In this case, that'd be eight beats, because I'm in four four. Now it's recording. So those are the metronome controls, which is right next to tempo. And tempo is pretty simple. You can either type in a new tempo, or you can use these buttons to go up and down, or you can do tap tempo. So tap tempo means you click on this circle at the actual tempo that you want. You click several times, and then it will detect the tempo that you're playing based on your clicks. So I might want to go faster, and I'll click my mouse four times fast. And then it detects that as about 142. Then I could still adjust that using these, or change here and type it in. Just make sure you hit enter or confirm when you're done. That will actually make the change to your tempo. And that's it for metronome settings. See you in the next one.